For sure. So you get on campus 2009, you're a young buck, true freshman, like you said, your rookie year. Um, and I talked about just a guy, Eric Norwood, who had Eric on the show, phenomenal guy, but that goon squad mentality, the goon squad defense, that culture kind of had started getting built when you got on campus. I'm just curious, were there guys that you can point out specifically that? Because I think it's really interesting the way your career evolved. Obviously, you truly became a leader on that South Carolina defense and led some of the best defenses in school history. But who were some of the guys that maybe took you under their wing? Because I think of guys like Cliff Matthews, Eric Norwood, Darian Stewart, Akeem Augusti, I think, was with you. Gilmore was with you. So just talk about kind of coming into that culture, if you will. And, I mean, obviously, you fully embraced it and that attitude, that tenacity you brought. I mean, it right. it really exemplified the goon squad mentality. But just kind of talk about that, being a being a young freshman, some of those guys that kind of helped make that transition smooth for you. Yeah, you know, um, I, I freshman, my freshman year, uh, we had guys like Eric Norwood, um, Darren Stewart, um, Cully. Um, we had, um, Kim Augusti, um, me and Stefan were freshmen. Um, we also had, uh, you know, um, those were what, the main guys. Mm. And then, you know, after that, after that freshman year, we kind of carried the torch. Right. Um, me, Stefan, Devontae Holloman, yep. Shaq Wilson, um, Jadavion, Melvin Ingram, of course, mm. um, Cliff Matthews, Traven Robinson. Uh, we kind of kept the goon squad mentality going. And, um, mm. you know, that goon squad mentality was uh, – it was just sort of a, you know, a, a savage mentality that uh, we go, we were going to dominate mm. no matter what, no matter who was in front of us, whether it was practice, whether it was um, – whether it was a walkthrough, whether it was the weight room, whether it was running out there on the field, um, getting better during the summer and the off season. Um, the mentality just was to be a goon, to be a savage, um, and be, you know, be the, be a fierce competitor. You know, mm. we wanted to strike fear into whoever we played against, uh, regardless of whether it's practice, whether, like I said, no matter what the situation was, we wanted to strike fear, and we wanted to put it on film to show all the other teams in the nation that that um, if you play South Carolina. Um, you know, you go get smashed my football. You are gonna get a lot of hard hits. You gonna get a lot of talking trash. But you know, we gonna talk trash, but we still gonna get the job done. Um, and that's one of the things that you got. You, you got to make sure that you, if you you talking trash, you got to make sure you back it up. Mm. And um, that's something that we did well. Um, we kind of we, we we saw we saw the fear that we put in people's eyes. Mm. Um, quarterbacks. We had uh, I remember Georgia game, man. We. Georgia Clemson games. The, I mean, we we you would see the fear in the quarterback's eyes. You mm -hmm. would see the fear in wide receivers' eyes, and you know, in the fourth quarter, uh, we were that much in shape and that much. We had so much confidence that when it's fourth quarter, the game is over with. Mm -hmm. Um, especially as far as the defense is concerned, and um, that mentality, man, it it it, it was contagious. It was contagious throughout the whole um, locker room towards the offense as well. Um, you know, they can't be as mouthy as the defense, but, you know, they, you know, it was the mentality that, you know, we're never going to back down. And um, previously, before we got here, you know, me, Stefan, and Melvin, you know, we would always be like, man, like, they always see South Carolina. They all, they would always see South Carolina as the underdog. Mm -hmm. And um, when, we, when we got to South Carolina, we wanted to be the team that stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with LSU still toe-to-toe -to, -toe to Alabama's, the Florida's, the Georgia's. We wanted to beat those teams. And um, that's where that mentality came. And then once we once we got the feeling and got the confidence in 2010 that we beat mm -hmm. uh, Alabama, the number one team in the nation, it was all she wrote. Uh, they gave us all the confidence that we needed, and uh, mm -hmm. we built the legacy that, um, you know, hopefully we can get back to.